Specular reflection is like the image from a mirror. A diffuse reflection is like the image from a sheet of white paper. Aluminium foil and aluminium sheet have little ridges on its surface, so it has differential reflection. Due to this property, it gives a straight line reflection in one direction and a semicircle in the other from a laser pointer. This is my spotlight. And this is the latest version of the experiment. <coughs> so um, I have a um, piece of uh, mirror glass and it's covered with aluminum foil. And let's see, what can you see here? I'm going to rotate it. So the, the light is shining on it and I'm going to uh, rotate it. Um, um, yeah, I haven't figured out how to do this because the, the light from the, the camera, oh, maybe, maybe this will work now, okay. Um, the camera was providing a big light, but as I rotated, you can see that the those lines in the reflection are rotating, and that's because there's tiny little ridges on the aluminum. And so I believe that depending on the direction of those lines on the aluminum, you'll get a different uh, amount of reflection into the target area. So. The idea is, is to have something mirror-like. So this is a mirror, and there's the target area. And quite a lot of the light from the, the foil, even though it's a good reflector, is actually missing the target area. And maybe this just depends on which way those lines are. It might be better. I believe it'll be better this way than this way. But I don't know. And unfortunately, in the solar cooking groups, they're kind of in boycott mode with me, boycott mode with me. So they're not, uh, they're refusing to use a laser pointer, which costs uh, this little gadget here, costs $5. But uh, the only person that has checked it uh, my way so far is a guy on YouTube. So this is metalized plastic and you can probably see it's not perfectly uh, on. Neither is this by the way, but uh, what I've done is I've stuck um, a few drops of water under both just to keep them flat on the mirror to make it as mirror-like as possible. But the good thing about this is that regardless of which way you turn it, most of the light is on the it goes where you, where where you would expect it to go with a mirror, whereas with the foil, a lot of it is missing. And this might matter for short if you're doing a, a short kind of focusing, but it's going to matter if you're going, you know, say uh, half a meter in a big parabolic dish or something like that. So uh, anyway, I'm going to keep experimenting with this type of thing to figure out uh, the best way of comparing materials, because now we can compare this with aluminum and with different materials based on how bright the reflection is going to be. I'm shining a light on a mirror and some other uh, materials. So uh, one is, uh, there's two pieces of aluminum foil. Uh, there's one piece of uh, foil wrapper, wrapper from, uh, from a, a bag of, of chips from uh, the Cotton Crisps in Ireland and England. And um, there's one piece of, of this thing here, this uh, uh, metal colored plate which is made of plastic. So um, the, this is the mirror 
This is the, the metal colored plastic. Uh, this is, oh, that's foil. This is the, the material from the, the crisps, and this is foil as well. So if we look at it, we can see that the reflection of the mirror is the same power, the same strength as the reflection from the mirror below it. The reflection from, from this material is actually concentrated. So, and, um, but the others are weaker than the reflections in the mirror. So the only material that passes monster, if you will, for to be as reflective as a mirror is, is this material here. And, oh, this is a piece of it. So just the act of cutting it has made it more concentrating. So, so that, uh, the, Cutting it has made its reflection more concentrating, just because I guess it warped a little when I cut it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'll just show you the, pop the mirror here. And the mirror reflection might be slightly brighter than this material. But it's obviously, I got this in the dollar store. So if I can find out what this material is and get it slightly thinner, then that's probably a really valid material for making uh, solar cookers. Uh, I think it's probably got a plastic coating uh, over some sort of, um, of uh, what would you say, some sort of silvery material, some sort of, uh, or aluminum that's uh, on a backing of plastic as well. So there's probably three layers to this. There's the plastic, there's aluminum, and then there's um, plastic at the back. So this this material might be great for making solar cookers, and you might even be able to make them. If they can make something like this, they can make a, a gently curved petal for a solar cooker, etc., etc. So, so this material might be something similar to this. Might be the way to go if it lasts uh, long enough in uh, in the wild. Thank you.